folks, Twitter has shed some light on the dark history, the dark past of the Domino's Twitter account. And I mean, they're canceled. I don't, I don't think they can bounce back from this realistically. I mean, it's over. Domino's, hashtag Domino's is over party. I'll personally never be eating their pizza ever again in my lifetime. I mean, pizza brands can't just be getting away with this kind of stuff for any longer. This is just absurd. I mean, personally, in my opinion, I think if you're still ordering Domino's at this point, you, you should be imprisoned. I mean, really, I don't see any other way to deal with this situation. It's just, I mean, this kind of behavior, it, there's no other way to deal with it. How can we allow pizza brands to just sit here and, and do this type of stuff on Twitter in, in 2012? I mean, clearly, if you've ever ordered Domino's pizza before, you, you clearly have never seen this tweet from 2012 because if you had, you, you would have never ordered the pizza in the first place. You can't be supporting brands like this. You know, really, before you support a brand, you really need to make sure you check their Twitter accounts and scroll back at least, you know, the 2009, 2010, maybe, at the very least. Now, in case you're kind of confused by this whole situation and you don't really understand the magnitude of what Domino's really did here, I I'm gonna break down what really unfolded with the Domino's Twitter account over the last 24 hours because, like I said, this this is this is truly disgusting. This is slander. I mean, this is really just some vile activity from the Domino's Twitter account, if we're gonna be completely honest here. So there's this, like, politician on Twitter here named Kaylee McKinney. At least I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. And some of you guys might be familiar with her. I'm not into politics at all, so I have no idea who she is. But it says here she's the former national press secretary for Donald Trump's 2020 campaign. So she has some kind of affiliation with Donald Trump, so I'm assuming that's why, you know, she has a lot of haters. But what happened here is back in 2012, November of 2012, Kaylee McKinney here said, fun fact, at Domino's is way better than any New York City pizza. Now, like I said, I'm not into any kind of politics stuff, so I'm not familiar with her political career or anything like that. But I'm assuming back in November of 2012, she was a little bit more like under the radar, not as popular. She probably wasn't even verified on Twitter at the time. So Domino's most likely saw this as, hey, this is some kind of fan just tweeting at us saying that our pizza's good. Why not reply to them and maybe make their day or basically just increase her odds of buying Domino's pizza because that's basically the goal of all these brand Twitter accounts. Just like, you know, Wendy's isn't really roasting people on Twitter to make you laugh. They're roasting people on Twitter so the next time you want fast food, you buy a Wendy's four for four instead of, you know, a Big Mac or something. So back in 2012, the Domino's Twitter account replies, that's one heck of a compliment. Thanks for the love. Hashtag we appreciate it. And little did they know this would get them canceled on Twitter, you know, eight years later. So just 18 hours ago now, this dude, Rick Wilson, he's probably tied to the political side of Twitter somehow. I mean, he's verified here, but he quotes this tweet from over eight years ago, which that's sad, but he says, you just killed your brand. And this somehow gets almost 25,000 likes. Somehow he has people on his side here. Like how dare this mediocre pizza chain reply to one of their supportive customers eight years ago, as if they were just supposed to know that eight years in the future, she was going to be affiliated with a controversial politician. It just, it, it just doesn't add up at all. I don't think they put an ounce of thought into it, but this dude gets the surprise of a lifetime here because four hours ago, Domino's replies to this clown. And I mean, they just, they, they, they put him in the grave. This dude really thought he was about to cancel the entire, you know, Domino's pizza chain. And instead he just gets Oh, I think, I think I have to censor that word. I don't even think that's allowed on YouTube. I'm going to get demonetized for that. But let's just say that dude gets, you know, game ended. He 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 respawned, I guess you could say. You know, if this was a Call of Duty match, his his health bar would be rather low. If this was Fortnite, he'd most likely be using a med kit right about now. But Domino's just fires back in the in the best way possible. Domino said, Welp, it's unfortunate that thinking a customer for a compliment back in 2012 would be viewed as political. Guess that's 2020 for you. Give the Domino's social media manager a raise. I, I don't know who this man is, but his paycheck needs to be, you know, tripled after that one. Because, I mean, this dude just got put on blast by a mediocre pizza chain. I, that, that's probably one of the worst ways you could go out, really. I mean, I can't imagine checking my Twitter mentions just to see that a social media intern at Domino's just hit me with a, with a Mortal Kombat fatality. With the Scorpion get over here finishing move. You know, with the Undertaker tombstone pile driver straight into the floorboards. Anyway. I think that's where we're going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelaxYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video, which will honestly probably be in like a few hours. I'm out.